between the clips, like we get, uh, there we go, in between, or, or where to go, or in between, I want to drop it on the clip. And when I do this, when I let go, it gives me two different options for replacing the clip. I can either keep the timeline duration, so this is the, I've already cut my, my uh, video to the beat, and I want to make sure that my clips don't move around, it's just going to replace this shot and keep the same duration. Then I tap the top one, keep timeline duration. Or if I haven't yet mixed it to music or I just don't care about, move, about it moving, changing duration, moving forward or backward, but I'm looking at this clip that I'm bringing in and saying, ooh, this shot that is five seconds long is going to be much better than the shot that's already in there that is two seconds long, then I can say use new clip duration. Whichever one you tap, it replaces that shot. So to replace an existing clip on the timeline, all you got to do is drag it on. All you got to do is select it, drag it on and just drop it onto the clip itself and you get that option. And of course you have a cancel option there in case you mess that up. By the way, undo on here, there is uh, right middle side, you'll see the little arrows, the curved arrow going back. So there's an undo there. But if you are using the keyboard, there we go. If you're using the keyboard on there, then Command Z is gonna undo as well. Incidentally, if you are using the keyboard, you're holding down the Command button on here, uh, that does show up there. You see the overlay that shows you all the different keyboard shortcuts that you have. And I think there might be more than this. Oh, look, there's a whole second page of them. <laughs> I knew that. There's a whole second page of these. You've got quite a few keyboard commands in here, which incidentally, this is kind of general rule for working with any app, whether you're on Mac OS or iOS with a keyboard. A great way to get to learn the capabilities of a tool is to study its its uh, menu commands and its keyboard shortcuts. So if I look at this, if I pop this back up on here and I look at the keyboard shortcuts and I'm going, oh look, there is a, uh, a keyboard shortcut for cloning the clip, option C. Oh, I didn't even know there was a cloning clip capability. That's just another way to learn what's going on in here. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got that on there. Let's see, we did an insert, we did an, a, a, a replace. Now let's talk about an overwrite edit. So an overwrite edit is where you are literally just Re dropping on top of what's existing, what's already there. It doesn't matter what's there, it's just gonna slam it right on top of it. So let me, before I show you that, I'm gonna re-show you what I've already done, and that is to take an existing clip, drag this on, so let's, let's make this really clear. I'm going to um, get rid of these last two clips. There's only two on the timeline. I'm gonna take another clip on here. Let's grab one that's not already on there. There we go. And again, if I drag and drop this in between these two, it pushes clip number three out of the way. It makes room for clip number two. Okay, Command Z to undo that. Notice over here on the left-hand side, there is this little button. That by default, it's, it's kind of a little cradle shape with an arrow pointing to the right. That is your standard way of editing. If you are a Final Cut user, this would be like using a, a magnetic timeline. If you're, an, if you're a Premiere user, this might be kind of a, oh, really? You can do that kind of a moment. That's the way we've been working. If I tap that, it becomes a down arrow. Now it's at an overwrite mode. So if I do the exact same thing that I just did, where I take this clip, Oop, not that one. I take this clip and I drag it on there. Even though it looks like it's going to go right in the middle, you'll notice, first of all, we're not seeing the same pop-up representation, that thing that kind of really represented that it was going to go between them. I don't see that anymore because it's not going to go in between them. It's going to overwrite what is currently there. And if I let go of that, boom, it has just overwritten what was there. Let me undo that and make this clip shorter. So I'm just going to take a little piece of it. I'm going to do the same thing. But you can see on here, you can see from the shadowing, it's showing you exactly what's gonna happen. When, if I let go of this, it is overwriting that first part of that second clip. So the first part of the second clip is now gone. The clip that I dragged in its place has taken over for that. The really cool thing here is that you can, you can go either way, you can choose it. You can just toggle this button on and off to get into different editing modes. Um, Sean Mark Nipper saying, magnetic witch of what? The timeline in Final Cut Pro, the way that it works where everything sticks together and slides around the way it does, that's called a magnetic timeline, just in case you didn't know. Okay, so there's, there's the two different ways to edit. And this is really great, because if you want to drop something in and just replace a portion of a clip, this is how you do it. Just drop it on there with this uh, overwrite edit mode enabled. But again, for most of your work, you're probably going to want to be on insert edit, which is the default position. So that's that. Okay, so we've got a couple of clips on the timeline. Now let's talk about editing the stuff that's already on the timeline. I'm gonna zoom in to get a little bit closer here. And as you probably have expected, would have expected and may have seen by now, any clip that's selected, I can tap on its in and out points and drag it to change the duration. So if I want to make that a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, I can do that. But you might be thinking, well, hold on, as I do that, what's happening to the rest of the media on the timeline? Well, this is where that overwrite or insert comes in again. So right now it's on the insert mode. So again, looking over on the left-hand side, we'll see the icon, it's got the arrow pointing sideways. If I stretch this- You've out. just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.